much, y'all. It's Tuesday morning, right now, 8.07 a.m. And I am on the road to go get baby. Look at Eddie Runyon's in Tennessee. Matter of fact, uh, I'm on on a highway right now that I'm gonna be on while the reason I'm doing a video. I don't like getting out of my directions and uh, my maps to do videos is the reason I hadn't already done one because I have had a hundred turns so far uh, coming different way this time. Went mostly interstate last time, which I don't really like. Uh, had to go to Fayette this morning and uh, pick up the truck. I'm gonna tell you, uh, I'm not the craziest about trying to drive a video do it all myself, but uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Allen Gilris kind enough to loan me his truck. And, and that's the kind of friends you got in racing. You know, racing, man, it, it is funny how people will help each other in racing. I mean, like if you break something at the track, even the guys that compete against you, if they got it, 99% of them will give it to you. Hey man, I got one, come get it. <clears throat> and I've done the same thing too. But uh, but racing, there's some good people in racing. And Mr. Alan Gilruth, buddy, they ain't no better than Alan Gilruth. I'm just gonna tell you. He has, uh, as y'all know, he helped Shane a whole lot with his program. In fact, I think Shane's car stays in his shop now. Other than wash day, it goes home, gets washed. But uh, Alan told me the other night, we was talking about going to get baby, and I was trying to think what I could drive. Shane said my transmission didn't feel like it shifted out high, which I think it just got a little low with fluid, but my truck is up at Shane's house and and uh, got several things I need to do. I got to get another tag and all for it. So didn't really want to try to risk it and drive it all the way up here this time. Uh, and Alan stepped up and said, hey man, if you want to get your car, he said, come by, get my truck, take it. And, uh, and that's what we've done because, you know, when you're buying, you, you got to do what you got to do. And, buddy, I'm telling you, I love this truck. It's a almost brand new, basically, Chevrolet, dually diesel, four-wheel drive, super nice. I love it, as a matter of fact. It drives like a Cadillac. I'm telling you, I love it. I better not get too used to it, though. I know that's what my wife said. But uh, I do. I love it. And I appreciate you, Alan, for letting me use this truck to uh, go pick up baby this morning. And and tell y'all another thing about old Alan. It wasn't just, man, come get my truck and go get it. He said, if Eddie isn't done with it and you can't go get it this week, he said, I'm off Friday. I will go to Tennessee and pick up your car for you on Friday. So, I mean, he's willing to make this drive to uh, Eddie's and pick my car up for me. And that is awesome. That's awesome. He is a good guy. But, uh, but appreciate you, Alan, for letting me use your truck. We're going to take good care of her, put some, put some fuel back in it for you, and, uh, get it back home to you later this afternoon uh trying to beat the storms reason we headed out early uh i think i left your house a little after six this morning or a little before six this morning but anyway plan on getting gone earlier than that but but i didn't uh but anyway we we well on our way now i think we're a little over an hour out at this point uh arrival time nine something and it is uh 8 12 now so we're getting there 
But I uh, just wanted to hop on here and update y'all. Hey, we heading that way. We're going to pick up baby, and it won't be too much longer. We're already in Tennessee, and uh, I'm going to get this thing back to Maps. Try to hit a video once we get up to Eddie's and uh, show you the guy, the legend, the man. Hey, he, he can build a race car from scratch, put bodies on, he can do it all, and he's good. Best fabricators I've seen. Oh, definitely, he is good. And builds a safe, safe race car. I've seen, you know, all this comments and, and all about the, uh, the Murdy wreck and the uh, house cage caved in. And I know Brian Littleton is uh, big on getting a bunch of stuff together and, and having a, a class on safety. And he's got a bunch of different chassis builders. I noticed somebody coming. I didn't. I noticed the guy's name, but I don't know him. But uh, I had saw where uh, somebody commented that Eddie Runyon's race cars are built and and would withstand it beyond a shadow of a doubt because the way he builds his halo and his cars, and they are they're super safe. In fact, my son has. Shane's car is actually a high roller, but it is built, it was built by Eddie. He's the one that uh, fabricated it when he was with high roller. But anyway, I'm going to jump off. I'm coming into a town, so I don't want to miss a turn. So let me get off this thing, get back on directions, and we'll check with y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all. We was in a hurry trying to get it loaded real quick, but here she is. She... I know you can't tell much in the trailer. Uh, waiting on Eddie to run down here, get a set of headers we've got to unload. But uh, I'll get better pictures when we can get her out of the trailer. Uh, let's get an idea. She looks good, though. I'm proud of her. Proud of her. Well, I'm sitting on dirt road. Man, I'm gonna tell you what. There's some beautiful countryside up here. Thank you again, Mr. Mr. Allen Gilbert. For the use of your truck. I sure do appreciate it. Fun drives like a game. I mean, it, it drives like a dream. Tell me. No, I don't see here for that here. Yellow Bow Trailer looks good behind it. But, uh, yeah, what I was saying earlier, there's a ton of daggum turkeys down here. I have seen two or three different sets out in these, uh, fields as I go by. Pastures, whatever, nice green. Just slammed full of turkeys. And... One of them I went by a while ago, I couldn't record it because I was having to, you know, get directions on my phone, but uh, it had three gobblers blowed up amongst some hens. And another time, right on the side of the road was a hen. I saw a hen run out of the road there, and I looked to the left of me, and right there on the side of the road was a gobbler blowed up fanned out I mean pretty so they got them up here boy I sure would like to uh, have them like that right in my house hmm. all right well here we are uh, Tuesday evening Started video on my way up to Tennessee this morning to uh, pick up baby from Eddie Running shop and uh, got baby home. Got baby home. Ain't got much time to fool with her this evening because uh, I've, I've now. Thank you, Alan Gilrath. Uh, as y'all seen in the video from this morning, Alan had loaned me his truck, it, which is a very nice. Uh, 
GMC or Chevrolet 3500 HD Dually Crew four wheel drive super nice truck nearly new drove like a dream uh, man it drove good drove even better when I put a trailer behind her to be honest with you it was a good driving truck and it didn't have no issues at all getting her home even in the wind and all come to a pretty hard rain after I crossed the Alabama line uh, no issues man it makes me want one bad if I had the money I'd have me one but hey you know how that goes let me raise this stick up a little bit, guys. Here we go. Now we got something. Now we're cooking with grease. Now we got something working. I'm all, uh, you can't see much, but hey. I'm gonna thank Alan Grilvers to begin with, allowed me to use his truck. Most of all, I wanna thank old Eddie Runyon's. This is the body that Eddie had called and told me, he said, man, bring me materials, bring me a car, drop it off, I'll do your body. And uh, Eddie, Eddie done this body really out of the kindness of his heart. In the process of them taking my car up, Alan and Shane took my car up when they picked his up, my trailer, had a flat tire on it and I uh, was able to unable to get a tire that day so that was left on the 82. The Eddie Runyon's also had to run around town and find me a tire and get it mounted and put it on my trailer for me before I got there today and I appreciate you Eddie for that I mean that I'll tell you racing friends are the best friends they guys you can trust and you can believe in and you can count on uh, there's some good guys involved in racing guys Anyway, I'm going to give y'all a little quick peek at the car. She's in the trailer and uh, not going to unload this evening. We're due some severe weather here shortly. Very shortly. It's, it's almost 7 o'clock, so it's coming in. My wife said about 45 minutes out now from uh, severe weather. But uh, I'm going to... Turn the camera around and let y'all know. All right. I got the camera around now. Let me step out the door again. we let y'all see this nose piece. Boy, that nose is sexy. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Look at the way he's made this uh, cover. It's curved and it's fit and trimmed and turned up, hand rolled, hand laid, hand touched. It is pretty boy. Look at that scoop. That's pretty awesome. Got the flies on the side, but it's connected on about a planet. You can't see it. Boy, that is that's what you call fit. Put it in there. Trim fit, baby. I mean, she's fitting. Look at that top. Man. I just can't, uh, I just can't see enough about this, this body. It looks great. Look at this. Got the fender rolled. You go down here, you got a, you got a faint line. Oh, shit. I can't. Even shine by and right. It's hard to do this inside a trailer. Anyway, you see how that line gets a little wider as it goes up. That is trip. That is nice. Give you all a little view of the cockpit. Got this little fin up here, nice. Got to drop down. Drop down to the cockpit. Super cool. Eddie has built a new dash. New dash built in it. Uh, I mean, there ain't nothing about this car that ain't top line and badass. Y'all hear me? She is bad to the bone. Ooh. Bad to the bone. 
I am just excited to death about it. I am super, super excited. I still, uh, still got to do a few things. This side is sort of rolled to the inward side. The quarter panel over there has got the slant back, like the builder, as you see. So I'm up to date. I got a body that is up to date. And I got a bad bitch here, I'll tell you that. If she runs and I can drive her half as good as she looks, y'all better look out. Cause she's a bad, bad little mama right here. Ain't pretty awesome. I'm ready to get her get her out of here, get her cleaned up good, and uh I've gotta put my put my bracing on the front here. Pull my nose piece up where I won't have no incident with it the first night or so. Uh, as you see, got my little braces here. I got them built, ready to go. I'm sorry with the camera work, guys. I'm just gonna lay them up there, give you an idea. Of course, they'll hook into the nose and go through the bottom. And I'll have these uh, these smaller braces through this through the center section, and we'll get this nose pulled up a little bit. Won't have no bending issues and track dragging issues then. And man, she's gonna be hot. Ain't no question about it. I love it, love it, love it. All right, guys, I just wanted to give y'all a peek at it. So here's your peek, peeky boo. She's back. I still gotta, uh, I still gotta do a little brake work, change the brake line out. Uh, I still gotta change the brake line out. Bleed my brake skin. Uh, Scuff my pads, scuff my rotors, or you know, just sitting up, scuff my tires. I gotta change the fitting on my uh, fuel pump. I gotta get some uh, down pipes on my headers, maybe a heat shield or two on my plug wires. I ain't look really. So I got a few things to loose ends tie up and. Uh, be working on those this week, and uh, hopefully, Lord's willing, Creek don't rise. Hopefully, not this Saturday night, because i got to work every day from now to then. But I hope next Saturday night, which would be two weeks. Well, not really two weeks now, almost two weeks. It'll be, uh, me and Shane both have our hot rods out, and we're looking forward to it. So, uh. Anyway, thanks for y'all. Uh, thanks for watching our videos and helping us get over to 500 mark. Now the keys to get to a thousand, and uh, we're gonna work hard for you. We're gonna get it there, and y'all keep watching, keep liking, keep turning somebody on to us. Tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your children, tell your aunts, uncles. Hell. Tell the cops down at the station when they pull you over. Tell the state trooper just might be giving you a ticket. Tell him to smile. Galloway Racing loves him. It might work. I got kids as cops, so I might get you off one. Tell me you love Galloway Racing. Y'all come see me. I'll try to get you a decal. Uh, try to have some shirts available this year uh, for purchase and uh, be giving a few out here and there. And uh, if y'all catch that track, y'all come meet us. We always enjoy meeting folks and uh, doing a little BSing with the crowd. So uh, y'all come meet us. We just get old down home, folks. Scratching, trying to keep a dime to go racing on. So, uh, hey, and, and if there's anybody wants to help sponsor this ride this year, y'all see I got a good looking ride. Y'all come on, get on board. Shane Tilly ain't got my route yet, so y'all get on board. Thank y'all. Appreciate every one of y'all. We out.